Grey Worm. You good? Come on. I'm so sorry, my queen. He was a good man. Barristan no. the Bold, as they called him. He was a loyal friend. Butchered by cowards who hide behind masks. We could pull back to the Pyramid District. I prefer your earlier suggestion. Round up the leaders of each of Marine's great families and bring them to me. Uh-oh. I had nothing to do with this! The greats! Dude, that sucks about Zelmi. Now she has no one on King's Landing on her side, like, under council. Well, Tyrion's on his way. Maybe he'll get cozy. Maybe she'll need him for that. This is, like, torturous, too. He may look vested on Separ. I know. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So why exactly is she taking the leaders from the great families to do this? Don't want to overfeed them. Tomorrow, perhaps. Well, that was kind of crazy as hell, don't you think? I mean, you could behead them or you could do that. That was a crazy shot, dude. That was insane. I know. That might be like the coolest shot we've gotten so far in the show. Maintains her grip on Slaver's Bay. Forces rise against her from within and without. She refuses to leave until the freedom of the former slaves is secure. She sounds like quite a woman. And she's alone. No family to guide her or protect her. Oh, that's her. his family. The last relation, thousands of miles away. Don't say that, Mr. Eamon. Well, it was the death of duty. Marian. Alone in the world. It's a terrible thing. Sam, I'd like to speak to the master alone. How are you feeling? Oh, like a hundred-year-old man, slowly <laughs> freezing to death. <laughs> I need your advice. There's something I want to do, something I have to do. But it'll divide the night's watch. Half the men will hate me the moment I give the order. Half the men hate you already, Lord Commander. Do it. You don't know what it is. That doesn't matter. You do. Well. You will find little joy. In your command, with luck, you will find the strength to do what needs to be done. Kill the boy, Jon Snow. Who? Winter is almost upon us. Who? Kill the boy and let the man be born. Oh, boy, you oh. are... Oh my you God. did that on purpose. He's like the doctor on Family Guy. Yes, the one that... Boy, I immediately thought Ollie or whatever. Free folk now? Yeah, that's gone? what I was thinking. Who leads them? They followed months. They won't follow anyone else. Hard to lead when you're in chains. What if I unchained you? Why would you do that? Because you were not my enemy, and I'm not yours. You sure seemed like my enemy when you were killing my friends. Great but I mean, to be fair. Years, the Night's Watch have sworn an oath to be the shield that guards the realms of men. And for 8,000 years, we've fallen short of that oath. You belong to the realms of men, all of you. And now everything is going to change. It is. Why now? Because now I am Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. What would you have me do, Lord Commander? And if you go north of the wall, gather the remaining free folk wherever they are and bring them back here. I'll open the gates for them and let them through. Check me. Find them lands to settle south of the wall. They Kill them all. Kneel for you. And neither will I. I don't want them to kneel for me. I want them to fight with me when the time comes. The day I ask my people to fight with the crows. And how many of your people can't fight? Well, maybe you're not proud. Maybe you're dense. Maybe you're just a coward. <laughs> I thought that he was going to be skeptical and say, oh, get us all in one place, eh? You know what I'm saying? But that's not the route they took. Easy thing to say to a man in chains. Yeah, but you're still in chains, bro. There's like a thousand of those dudes there. Let's go, John. Maybe. Your people need a leader. And they need to get south of the wall before it's too late. We don't have much time and they have less. The walkers are coming and they'll hit your people first. Make peace to save your people. Most of them are at hard home. I can give you ten horses and nine other men. You can get there in a week. We'll need ships. I talked to King Stannis about lending you his fleet. Let's go. All right, then. <laughs> You're coming with me. You're the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. They need to hear it from you. He is right about that. Man. But hey, we Stannis is saving people out here. Through our gates. <clears throat> men, women, and children will die by their thousands if we do nothing. Let them die. We got our own to worry about. You're there is a good man. farmland in the <laughs> gift. <laughs> Land that no one uses now. Because the wildlings raided them for years. Just like they did this boy's people. Oh, He's like, true. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. They've slaughtered villages. They've slaughtered our brothers. And we slaughtered theirs. I will follow you anywhere. You know that. But they killed Gren. And they killed Pip. They killed 50 of our brothers. Yeah. I can't forget that. I can't forgive it. You were at the fist of the first men. If we abandon them, you know what they become. We can learn to live with the wildlings, or we can add them to the army of the dead. Whatever they are now, 
They're better than that. He is right, though. Like, add, what, 100,000 more people to it? Yeah, but see, this is an impossible situation for people to get behind. Mm hmm I don't think it's that many people, though. I thought Manton said he had 100,000. He was bluffing. Or at least I think he was. I'm pretty sure he was. Do you have something you want to say to me? Say it. You don't mean it, do you? Telling the wildlings you want to make peace. You're just doing it to trick them. It's not a trick. They burnt my village. They put an arrow through my father's head right in front of me. They butchered my mother. Everyone I ever knew. Poor thing. I know what it's like to lose the people you love. I know this is hard for you, but winter is coming. He's too young to understand. You know what's coming with it. We can't face it alone. Will there be anything else you need, Lord Commander? Oh. No. She's far away from the Lannisters. Sansa's in danger even if she doesn't realize it. Man, if you're highborn, you need a Brienne in your life. <clears throat> She'll chase you across the world. Who's this fella? Thank you. You lived here a long time? Aye. Uh, Did you know Lord Eddard? The Sarks are gone now. Not all of them. I know who's inside that castle. I'm not talking about the Boltons. I need to get a message to her. To Sansa Stark. Who are you? Someone who swore to keep her safe. Swore to who? Her mother. Her mother's dead. That doesn't release me from an oath. I served Lady Catelyn. I serve her still. Who do you serve? That was an intense conversation. I know, it's Come making me like here. emotional. I love Brienne. Miranda. I saw you staring at her. I'm going to marry her. That will involve looking at her from time to time. You said you'd marry me. And I meant it when I was a bastard named Snow. But I'm a Bolton now. What I want is no longer the primary consideration. I'm furthering a dynasty. Do you think she's pretty? Of course I do. I'm not blind. I'll have plenty of time for you. Oh, perhaps I'll marry too. <laughs> Did you see his face? <laughs> You're mine. You're not going anywhere. They look like some vampires in there, don't they? I know. <laughs> Dang, so this is about to become like a whole storyline. Sansa's about to get caught up with her. And she's evil. Big pardon, milady. I've come to refill the wash basin. You still have friends in the north. If you're ever in trouble, light a candle in the highest window of the broken tower. But who? You're not alone. That would be so scary still, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you can't trust her. They might be testing you. Ramsay does that's, that. That's probably Cersei's aunt. It's probably Ramsay's grandma. Seeing that she's a loyal, loyal girl. I would light that candle right now. That's the one Bran fell from. Oh no. I like your dress. Who made it for you? Uh, I made it myself. Who, who are you? I'm Miranda, the kennel master's daughter. The stitching. It's good that she taught you. It was a gift. Now, every time you wear something you made, you can remember her. I'd rather have a mother. I know. <laughs> it's not the same. I almost forgot. There's something else to help you remember. Down there, at the end. What is it? What is she doing there? Still the surprise. Didn't Ramsay and her go eat some people go with some dogs at one point? Perfectly safe. Like some crazy people? I'd be like, yeah, you coming with me. No, but you can go first, little girl. What if it's Theon? I just thought about that. Don't you sleep there? It is him, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Why would she do that to her? And him. Theon. You shouldn't be here. Why is it so intense right now? This show is about to get wild. You smell particularly ripe this evening. Do you have something to tell me? No, my lord. Reek. She saw me. Who? Sansa. Lady Sansa. She saw you. Yes. I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me. I, I didn't think. Come here. You mustn't keep secrets from me, Reek. Get on your knees. No. Give me your hand. I'm really just cringing at the fact that he gets off on this so much, to be honest. I forgive you. He's about to smack him with something. Mm -hmm. What a gentleman. Mm -mm. He's so annoying. <laughs> Thank you, Ramsay. My lady, we are all a family. Our blood ties go back thousands of years. So I'd like to drink to our wedding. May our happiness spread from Moat Kaelin to the last half. <laughs> to your wedding. To your wedding. It must be difficult for you, being in a strange place. This isn't a strange place. This is my home. It's the people who are strange. You're right. Very strange. Very. More wine, please. Don't worry. The North remembers. He's not Ironborn anymore. Not Theon Greyjoy anymore. He's a new man. Aren't you, Reek? His master. That's his new name, Reek. Why are you doing this? Because Reek has something to say to you. Don't start bucking, Sansa. I know. That's scary. Apologize to Lady Sansa for what you did. I'm sorry. An apology doesn't mean anything if you're not looking the person in the eye. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? For killing your brothers. Even though he didn't. That's... And everyone knows that. He still owes an apology. Yeah. Oh yeah, for taking over Winterfell, for sure. Doesn't everyone feel better? I do. That was getting 
very tense. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. What with him having murdered your brothers and the rest of your family gone, Reek here is the nearest thing to living kin that you have left. You will give away the bride. Punish and Sansa now. Has to what the heck, person. man? Yes, yes, we're good. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Waldo and I have some good news as well. We're going to have a baby. Uh oh. Because Ramsay's a yeah. bastard. We're oh my baby. goodness. <laughs> From the way she's carrying, Mr. Walken says it looks like a boy. Oh. He's like, congrats. Oh my goodness. This she's is, like, she I just, know, she loved that. She smirked, boy. I loved it for her. Dang, man. Happy so this sure. thing's. Sure of what? That she's pregnant. I mean, how can you tell? Mr. Walken has assured us beyond all doubt. How did you manage it? Manage what? Getting her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you're familiar with the procedure. Of course. But you disgraced yourself at dinner, parading that creature before the Stark girl. And if it's a boy? <laughs> You're worried about your position. My position is quite clear. I'm your son until a better alternative comes along. Well, you are a little wild, dude. I know. You never asked me about your mother. Why would I? She had me. She died. Here we are. She was a peasant girl, pretty in a common sort of way. She was the miller's wife. Apparently, they'd married without my knowledge or consent. So I had him hanged, and I took her beneath the tree where he was swaying. She was lucky I didn't hang her, too. A year later, she came to my gates with a squalling baby in her arms. A baby she claimed was mine. I nearly had her whipped, and the child thrown in the river. But then I looked at you, and I saw then what I see now. You are my son. Oh. That was a terrible story, though. I'm, like, surprised he kept him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, because you're, like, terrible, you know? I know. Baratheon is an army at Castle Black. He wants the Iron Throne, and the road to King's Landing comes right through Winterfell. He means to take the North, but the North is ours. Will you help me defeat him? Yes. <laughs> I'd love to. Is this every book there is? They say the Citadel has the largest library in the world. Where's that? In Old Town. She don't know where that is either. <laughs> That's why he didn't want to really tell her. I'm sorry I don't know things. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know how to do a hundred things I can never do. Like skin a rabbit. Five <laughs> why does the Citadel have the biggest library? It's where they train the maesters. Like Maester Eamon? I wanted to be one when I was young. Far more adventure up here anyway. And I wouldn't have met you. <laughs> she runs off. You're Samuel Tarly. Your father's Randall Tarly. Defeated my brother at the Battle of Ashford. Only he doesn't know he hates his brother. Fine soldier, your father. You don't look like a soldier. I'm told you killed a white walker. With a dagger made of dragon glass. Dragon glass? What the maesters call obsidian. You know what it is. We have it in Dragonstone. Oh Old yeah, obsidian that's where he's from. I don't know. So now Stannis knows. That's huge. It's that the children of the forest used to hunt with dragon glass. Lady Melisandre told me that death marches on the wall. I've seen it, your grace. The army of the dead, when they come. We have to know how to fight them. Oh, so you just figured it out, Loki, Sam? Keep reading, Samuel Tarly. <clears throat> I like that. He said they have it, but I wonder, like, how much they actually have. Right. Maybe they mine it because it's like Dragonstone. I don't know. I just think it's sick that Sam's sort of, like, finding what he's good at. Yeah. You know, like, his dad disgraced him and sent him to the wall for it. It's time. He knows uh, you're so much. Mm -hmm. We have to act now. Give the order. We march at sunrise. I choose a dozen men to stay and guard the queen and the princess. No need to come in with us. Won't they be safer? Yeah. They march with us. Oh. As you wish, Grace. Why are you just outside looking in the same spot I'm looking at? Who, Masande? I'm joking. <laughs> it's not Masande right now. I was like, dude. <laughs> it's because I messed it up earlier. Nay! Do you think Father will let me go down into the crypt? All the kings in the north are buried there. First things first. There's a long march ahead. Is there going to be a battle? My princess. You won't be anywhere There's near. There's enough talk of battles, Sir Davos. You'll scare the child. Yes, my queen. I'm not scared. Well, I am. When the battle comes, I promise you'll protect me. I promise. Oh, please, nothing bad happened to her. She's so sweet. I hope you know what you're doing with these wildlings. I need those ships. You'll get them back. I swear it. Have a safe journey, your grace. Look at the contrast right there with the red. Love it. So it's time to go kill um, the Boltons, eh? Well. That's what Littlefinger sent Santa Sansa there for. Do you not think he'd be better off trying to, like, wait on the wildlings to get there and then use them? No, he said he can't wait any longer. Winter's coming. Yeah, because it could be winter at any moment. We'll see. Look at John looking like a Lord Commander now. Dang, hey, do they house the big army in there? <laughs> well, it's a big wall. <laughs> but they're broke now. I uh, know. They came in and ate up everything out in the pantry, didn't they? Yeah. Come on, Grey Worm. Pull through. You're still too weak. I'm so afraid of that. Yeah, that. I'm 
Everybody told us. Ooh. Everybody's son. Mm. Oh, he cared about him. When Green Gonta knew Valley, she Green Gonta knew Dari. Was Velita not in Kakito? Are you ashamed? You were ambushed, outnumbered. There was no way he could have known. This is not why wounded in war. There is no shame for this. I am ashamed because when the knife go in and I fall to the ground, I am afraid. That ain't good. Hmm. I fear I never again see Miss Sunday from the island. Oh, <laughs> making them weak, ain't it? They're a cute story. Yeah, I'm glad Grey Worm made it. Now you have given the masters what they deserve. If I give everyone what they deserve, I'll have no one left to rule. <laughs> the Barristan counseled mercy when I took this city right up to the morning he died. What do you think? Your Grace, I think that I'm not fit to have an opinion on these matters. You are as fit as anyone I know. You know why I'm here. And you know who will suffer the most if this all falls apart. So, what do you think? I can only tell you what I have seen, Your Grace. I have seen you listen to your counselors. I have seen you lean on their experience when your own was lacking and weigh the choices they put before you. And I have seen you ignore your counselors because there was a better choice, one that only you could see. She wise, huh? <laughs> My queen, please do not do this. I did not want to die a coward. It takes courage to admit fear and to admit a mistake. I was wrong and you were right about bringing the people of this city together. I will reopen the fighting pits to free men only. Slavery will never return to Marine, not while I live. Yes, my queen. Let's go. Nice. And in order to forge a lasting bond with the Marinese people, I will marry the leader of an ancient family. Thankfully, a suitor is already on his knees. She's, She's gonna to marry, marry that dude? What? She wants a king that's just gonna fall to his knees like that? That boat ain't going nowhere, man. I'll defy nothing broken, I don't think. Long, sullen silences and an occasional punch in the face. The Mormont way. I apologize for before. My mouth sometimes runs away from me. This doesn't have to be an unpleasant trip. We're going to be spending a lot of time together on the way to Marine. We are. <laughs> what would make our time together truly enjoyable would be some wine. No wine. You've sailed this route before? No. You're going to bring Daenerys a souvenir from her ancestral homeland in case I'm not enough? I think you'll be plenty. The doom still rules, Valyria. Aren't you afraid of the doom? The smoking sea. For thousands of years, the Valyrians were the best in the world at almost everything. And then they weren't. And then they weren't. <laughs> a city of a thousand years, and all that men had learned, the doom consumed it all alike. Besties. And neither of them turned. I would clap. <laughs> Bend your knees. I suppose this is it then. This is what remains. Is that Drogon? And Tyrion's seen him. He's a believer now. Drogon just skipped him. <laughs> I bet that blows Tyrion's freaking mind, dude. It probably does. <laughs> Look at his face. Sober up, bro. What's that? Behind his back. What was that? What was that? Mm mm. A stone. Oh, they look like they have degree skill. Are they actual stone? I know this is just a lot of fighting right here, guys, but the, um, just the shot coming into this was beautiful, man. Like, this show is great. Let him free, Mormont. Let him free. Oh, they did say when they get the gray scale, they get violent, huh? Yeah, well, she said they sound like animals. Uh, Gilly said her sisters did, but I don't know if they're actually made of stone or if they have the gray scale. Oh, they don't necessarily got the gray scale? You just I don't said know. that? Yeah, well, the, I was just saying that because it looked like the same thing. Oh, nice. Good. You're all right. Where'd they go? You're heavier than you look. <laughs> Can any of them touch you? I've seen grayscale before. Oh, that's grayscale. Nothing like that. So it is. No that's what well, they were saying. They're the stone men. Be kind to put daggers in their hearts and be done with it. They're like zombies. Kind of, yeah. He asked if he touched them. I'll get some wood for a fire. Try to get some rest. Huh? It's the best idea you've had all day. <laughs> They're kind of friends now. I mean, when you about get drowned together. Hmm. <sighs> Bro, like when your nasty friend gives you ringworm or something. Oh no. So all you had to do is get touched? Just touched. That's a hard one to stop. I guess that's why they don't show their daughter no affection and stuff. Cause she had- Well no, it. she got hers fixed. She just has a scar. Yeah, but maybe as a young baby, they just- Right, they couldn't. Well, they couldn't. Or they would've got it too, it looks like. Crazy guys, next up thing. Yeah. She's just cleaning dead people as part of her training. Every time she's in this place, I just get this pit in my stomach. Right, because you just don't know what's going to happen. It's weird. It's like she's in a cult or something. There's like no answers to any questions you might have. 
What are they doing with the bodies? Get back to work. I'm not scrubbing one more corpse until you tell me why I'm doing it. You will know why. When it's time, not before. Get back to work. When do I get to play the game? Game? The game of faces? You failed. I didn't even know I was playing. Who are you? No one. Get back to work. Who are her. you? What are you doing here? How did you get here? I'm from Westeros, just like you. Daughter of a lord, just like you. Except I was an only child, heir to his fortune. My mother died. My father remarried and his new wife gave birth to a girl. My stepmother didn't want any rivals for her precious daughter, so she tried to kill me with poison. I found out, sought help from the faceless men, and my father was widowed again. I've been serving them ever since. Was that true or a lie? What in the world? I thought it was true. What? Did you believe every word I said? I would say no, though, just because why would you Get ask that? <laughs> so she needs a lot of enlightenment before she can join or before she can know what's going on. Who are you? Oh, no. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Creepy, right? <laughs> I'm like asleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. And where did you come from? Westeros. My family home is Winterfell. I'm the youngest daughter of a great lord, Eddard Stark. He died in battle. <laughs> That's a lie. Why? After he was executed, I fled the capital. Had to kill a stable boy. Drove my sword through his back. <laughs> what in his back? I stabbed him in the gut. I tried to find my mother and brother, but I never did. They were murdered by Walder Frey. An outlaw kidnapped me. A man called Poliver. A man called um. the Hound. Sandor Clegane. He begged me to kill him, but I wouldn't. I left him in the mountains to die. I wanted him to suffer. I hated him. Oh, he didn't. Or she didn't. Well, I hated him. She doesn't hate him. That's not a lie. A girl lies to me. To the many-faced god. Does she truly want to be no one? I'm not playing this stupid game anymore. We never stop playing. So he's like a lie detector, basically. But he's like the honcho, the sensei. So he's dissolved his ego so much that he can just see, like, all the truth in her face or something. <laughs> Those villagers we were supposed to find. You're an awful traveling companion. Do you know that? Possibly the least charming man I've ever met. I'm not your traveling companion. We are traveling together in each other's company. Therefore, you ever shut up. I sailed from King's Landing to Pentos in a crate without ever saying a word. <laughs> Why? Never occurred to you to ask why until now? I'm sure you visited many brothels in many cities. I killed my father. He wanted to execute me for a crime I didn't commit. He's like, what do you say to that? Miserable as you are, Mormont, at least your father was a good man. I met him. I visited the wall. When I asked him about his men, he knew all the stories, every one of them. He actually cared about the people under his command. How do they put it in the watch? We shall never see his like again. Oh, does he not know he died, or does he? That's news to him. Does Tyrion know? Oh... You didn't know. I'm sorry. I am. Yikes. How? He was leading an expedition beyond the wall. He was murdered by his own men. The legend of Jyn Elias, who is murdered by. We better keep moving. Heart of stone over here. Sucky way to find out. Bala Magulis. Bala Dairis. I have nowhere else to go. I've taken her to every healer in Bravos. She suffers every day of her life. I just want it to end. How'd they get in there? It hurts. I know. I used to be like you. I was sick. I was dying. But my father never gave up on me. He loved me more than anything in the world, just like your father loves you. So he brought me here. My father prayed to the many-faced God. She's getting good at lying. He healed me. I've devoted my life to him now. You don't want to hurt anymore. Drink. Isn't something wrong with that water? You know exactly what that was about. No, he gave he, that guy gave that water to someone last episode, and they died though. That's all I remember. Do you? Yeah, I remember that part. I don't remember. I don't know what, what that was I don't was know about. why Arya gave it to her. To, to stop her suffering or something? And Arya lied to her. That's why I don't... Does she like lied to her to make her feel good about drinking it? To be honest, I'm not sure. And why was he like watching and like heard her lie? I'm probably about to find out. So it seems like she passed some type of initiation. Right. Like that was a little test or something? Yeah. So she gets to come down to this um, heavily lit uh, dungeon go with see. heads on it? Are those the Is people? that what they were doing with right. the bodies? Is that yeah. the people they're cleaning? Like, why clean the rest of the body if you're just going to keep the head, though? And why keep the head? I don't know. That girl is not ready to become no one. But she's ready to become someone else. Well, who is she about to become, bro? Like, why are you so tricky? That room was very odd. Why Daenerys? Why is she worth all I'm more this? convinced it's a cult than ever now. Yeah, me too. As I recall, the Mormons fought against the Targaryens during Robert's Rebellion. You believe in anything. Something greater than ourselves, I mean. The gods. Destiny. You believe there's a plan for this world? No. Neither did I. I was a cynic. Just like you. Then I saw a girl step into a great fire with three stone eggs. When the fire burned out, I thought I'd find her blackened bones. Instead, I saw her, Daenerys, alive and unhurt, holding her baby dragons. Have you ever heard baby dragons singing? Hard to be a cynic after that. 
The Targaryens are famously insane. What if she conquers the world? Then what? A thousand years of peace and prosperity. First, we have to conquer the world. All right. Let's assume your dreams come true. She's ecstatic when you bring her this enemy dwarf. <laughs> she hacks off my head and restores your position. You command her army, sail to Westeros, defeat all your enemies, and watch her climb those steps and sit on the Iron Throne. Hurrah! Long live the Queen. Then what? Then she rules. So a woman who has not spent a single day of her adult life in Westeros becomes the ruler of Westeros? That's justice? She's the rightful heir. Why? I was kind of thinking that because too. Because her father who burned living men for amusement was the king? <laughs> it's a slave ship. Why are they anchored? They probably came ashore. Water. Ran into the wrong ones. You, huh? Dang. <laughs> Pirate. She looks strong enough. What about the dwarf? Hey, that's Echo from Lost, man. Worthless. Remember? Oh, yeah. Cut his throat. Wait, 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 wait. Let's discuss this. He weaseled his way out once Always. again. Queen Daenerys has outlawed slavery. We're bound for Volantis, not Slaver's Bay. Besides, she reopened the fighting pits. You're about to be rich. You are looking at one of the great warriors in the Seven Kingdoms. Oh. Yep. Got to be 60 years old. Sure, he's a bit long in the tooth. Bit <laughs> he's in the Too long. We can all see that. But he's a veteran of a hundred battles. They wrote songs about him. Sing it. That true? He won the tournament at Lannis Port, unseating Sir Jamie Lannister himself. <laughs> the Kingslayer. The men who fight in the pits of Marine will swallow him whole. I killed a Dothraki blood rider in single combat. Liar. It's no lie. His name was Quotho. He was blood rider to Khal Drogo. Take me to Slaver's Bay. Put a sword in my hand, I'll prove my worth. Let's go. Well, oh no. Lancel Lannister. That is Lancel. He just looks so different. Brother Lancel. Quite a family to abandon. <laughs> the city has changed since you were here last. We flooded the gutters with wine and set the godless on the run. Well done. <laughs> I'm here on urgent business for the Queen Mother. Should I send word that I'll be delayed? Step carefully, Lord Baelish. You'll find there's little tolerance for flesh peddlers in the new King's Landing. We both peddle fantasies, Brother Lancel. Mine just happened to be entertaining. Oh, he's trying to get him. Do you think it's wise, Your Grace? House Tyrell won't tolerate this insult. House Tyrell won't tolerate it. <laughs> but, like, how can you say anything, Cersei? That's what he's saying. Right. Thoroughly repellent woman. Lysa was a good woman, a kind woman. She was neither of those things. We both know it. <laughs> Still, I pity her son. War comes to Westeros will the Knights of the Vale fight for their king. Always counseled loyalty to the throne. Dang, Cersei sent him there just for that. If there's nothing else. It's crazy seeing her there instead of Tywin, though. Mm -hmm. You once judged me with finding Arya Stark. To my shame, I failed you. But I have found Sansa Stark. <sighs> Shut and up. I, and well, and home again, living at Winterfell. My sources are well placed. You, because he did it. They tell me Roose Bolton plans to marry her to his son. Ramsay. Bruce Bolton is warden of the North by the grace of my father. His reward for stabbing his own king in the heart. Marrying his son to the last of the Starks gives him more legitimacy in the North than an alliance with a hated Southern house. I will skin him and his bastard <laughs> like that wretch on their bloody sigil. I would counsel patience, Your Grace. Patience? Sons help murder my son. Roose Bolton is a traitor. Stannis Baratheon is also a traitor. Let Stannis and Roose battle. Let the enemies of the throne slaughter each other, and when they're done, seize Winterfell from whichever thief survives. Winterfell is a thousand miles away from And he me. thinks he's so much smarter than the Cersei. Has mm -hmm. yeah. That is why it is critical to strike soon, while the victor still licks his wounds. My uncle Kevin has all the courage of a kitchen mouse. <laughs> Jamie, then. Jamie's away on a sensitive diplomatic mission. I have no idea when he'll be back. Perhaps I can help. The Knights of the Vale are some of the best fighters wow. in Westeros. Trained to battle in the Perfect ice. Perfect position in Littlefinger. He's such a snake. <laughs> Your reputation as a moneylender and a brothel keeper, not a military man. He wouldn't risk a single Lannister soldier or a single coin from the royal treasury. What do you have to lose? A brothel keeper? And if you succeed? Name me Warden of the North. That's a sneaky plan there. That's a powerful step. Speak to the king this evening. Like he cares or knows. I'll issue a royal decree. I'll not rest until the lion flies over Winterfell. Wow. I see Sansa Stark's head on a spike. As I oh. said, I live to serve. Wow, he's so slithery. He set that whole thing up just to try to position himself to take Winterfell, to but he needed that tomorrow. crack. What if he says no? He won't. You've waited long enough. I want you to be my wife. What is it? Do you want to marry me because our family's arranged it? Or do you think we can't? Not yet. Why not? You know why not. Someone will see. You are going to be my wife. I... I'm going to be your husband. We're allowed to walk through the gardens together. How many other girls have you walked through these gardens? I like the way your eyes go squinty when you're jealous. They make a lovely couple. A Lannister and a Marktow. 
They have no idea how dangerous that is. We must protect them. Yes, my prince. You haven't had to use that axe of yours in a long time. I hope you remember how. I remember how. <laughs> what the hell look what they're dressed like? In a voice that was sweet as a All right, that's enough. I want everyone in Dawn to hear your accent. That's the water gardens. Once we've got the princess, then what? I like to improvise. That explains the golden hand. <laughs> How are they gonna do this? I just am like, I have no idea. You can't just get her to come. Yeah, like, this could go really, this could go really sour. Oh, is it Dorn's? Why is there like two missions happening at once? Well, she's made herself at home. Marcella? Uncle Jamie? Uncle Jamie. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. What are you doing here? Let's speak in private. I am Tristan Martel. Tristan is my intended. Excellent. Good to meet you. We weren't expecting you, Lord Jamie. Oh. Let's not do something stupid. <laughs> that was something stupid. We have to go, Marcella. Now. You hurt him! But we have to. <gasps> they got oh, whipped. For fuck's sake. That's baby Oberyn. <laughs> right. Oh, they're trying to get her too. Yeah. Drop your weapons! <laughs> That was almost terrible. Oh no. I am Obarasan, daughter of Oberyn Martel. I fight for Dorne. Who do you fight for? Drop your weapons. <laughs> when oh. you were whole, it would have been a good fight. <laughs> you fight pretty good for a little girl. <laughs> what are they gonna do with her? Her story ended kind of quick, didn't it? Or maybe it's not over, but they got her real quick, though. You can smell the shit from five miles away. <laughs> Why have we stopped? Go on. Oh, she headed back to King's Landing. <laughs> That's what she's in that. If they arrested all the pillow biters in King's Landing, there'd be no room left in the dungeons for anyone else. Everyone knew about him and Renly. Renly Baratheon shagged half the stable boys in the Seven Kingdoms. He was the king's brother. And Loras is the queen's brother. No, 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 no. This is unacceptable. Percy's behind it. Yeah, of course she is. She wants to drag our name through the dirt. Get some rest, dear. You look appalling. And let me deal with Cersei mm -hmm. Lannister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your Grace, I have traveled a long way. She's being just like Tywin. Oh my God. <laughs> Put the pen down, dear. We both know you're not writing anything. <laughs> and famous tart, Queen Cersei. I know you're behind this absurd incarceration of my grandson. If you apologize for that comment, perhaps... You'll get your apology. When I get Loras. I was as shocked as anyone when the Faith arrested Sir Loras. <laughs> but what can a Queen Mother do? I can assure you, our alliance with House Tyrell remains... Do you expect the alliance to continue after you've thrown our future into prison? As I said... I didn't trust your father. I didn't particularly like him. Sometimes we must work with our rivals. House Lannister has no rival. <laughs> So arrogant. <laughs> the High Septon has called for an inquest, not a trial. Loras will be freed. Our happy alliance will continue. And we'll forget this unfortunate conversation ever happened. Good day, Lady Olenna. Immediately stops writing. Because <laughs> what was she even writing? <laughs> concerning you and Renly. I don't pay attention to rumors. You were said to be despondent when he died. Witnesses state that you refused to leave his bedside, even as Stannis' army closed in. He was my friend. He was my king. Wasn't Joffrey your king? He was anointed by the Seven, not Renly. I was wrong to support Renly's claim. I fought for him at the Battle of Blackwater. Wearing Renly's armor. Okay, detective. Why does it matter what I wore? Do you deny all the charges against you? Of course I deny them. You never lay with Renly Baratheon? Never. Nor any other man? Never. That will be all, Sir Loris. I think that's quite enough of that. Faith calls Queen Marjorie forward. You call me forward? Yes. We have some questions for you. I am the queen. You are. Neither kings nor queens are exempt from testimony at a holy inquest. Oh, she can't really lie. That would be hard, right? We're just going to have to see what she chooses to do. I don't know. How do you respond to these charges against your brother? They are lies. All of them? All of them. Queen Marjorie, do you swear that your brother is innocent of these charges against him, to the best of your knowledge? Yes, I swear it. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, no. Do you know this man? Very well. He is Sir Loras Tyrell at a high garden. How did you come to meet? I squired for him, summoned me to his chamber the first day we met. We engaged in intimate relations. Basically, the moral is your partner is going to sell you out every time. Mm -hmm. Liar. He's a liar. Is there anyone else who can support your claim? Yes, Queen Marjorie. She, she was there in on us one once, time. not long ago. She didn't seem surprised. His testimony is an insult to a great house. Why should the faith or anyone else take the word of a squire over the heir to Highgarden? He has a birthmark, Your Grace, quite high on his thigh. 
wine colored and roughly the shape of dawn. Chill. I about yeah, I mentioned it one time. Or this yeah, you're my squire. You've seen it. Satisfied, there is enough evidence to bring a formal trial for Sir Loras and Queen Marjorie. Bearing false witness before the gods is as grave a sin as any, my lady. The part that's kind of cringing me out is this just Stop came it. out of nowhere. I know. Stop They're it. just like. How do they have so much power just because Cersei like, gave I get what the show is trying to I do and all, but it's just it's Stop so it. forced. It's too much. Stop oh, Tommen's not going to allow this, I hope. Stop What's he going to do about it? Um, He's already had his chance. The gate. <laughs> yeah. So I'm all for Stannis now. I'm pure Team Stannis. <laughs> uh, no. Close the door. What do you want? Lord Ramsay sent me to draw your bath. You want to be clean and fresh for your new husband, don't you? You're so beautiful. But you need to keep him happy. Ramsay gets bored easily. You don't want to end up like like the others. What others? And I shouldn't gossip. Good to see the red again. No point in hiding anymore. What others? She made her hair Let's red see, again? There was Kira, the blacksmith's daughter. And there was Violet. Gorgeous blonde hair. She got pregnant. And well, that was boring. Tansy. Such a sweet girl. Ramsay let me come with him on that hunt. Hunt? Have you ever seen a body after the dogs have been at it? Not so pretty. Why am I talking about such things? What was your name again? Miranda. And how long have you loved him, Miranda? <laughs> I mean, obviously, right? Did you imagine that he would be with you forever? Is that it? And I came along and ruined it. I'm Sansa Stark of Winterfell. This is my home, and you can't frighten me. I love that. Well, we'll see about that, Sansa Stark of Winterfell, because she might can. She's getting tough, though. I like it. She needs to. Wow, she's actually getting married. That'd be stressful to be Sansa, dude. I wouldn't let that yes. girl nowhere near me again. Mm -mm, I'll punch her. Mm -hmm. I've come to escort you to the godswood, milady. If you please, milady, will you take my arm? No. He said I'm to take your arm. I'm not touching you. You think I care what he does to you? Not another wedding. I'm so tired of these things. Who comes before the old gods this night? Sansa. Of the house Stark comes here to be wed. A woman grown. She comes to beg the blessings of the gods. Who comes to claim her? Ramsay of House Bolton, heir to the Dreadfort and Winterfell. Who gives her? Reek. Eon of House Greyjoy. Who was he? He told him to say that? Who was her father's ward? Lady Sansa, will you take this man? He's the preacher? I take this man. That sucks, bro. I'm just wondering what she's thinking. Are you pleased, my lady? He's so short prepared to her. I know. I want you to be happy. Lord Tyrion was kind. He was gentle. He never touched me. You're not lying to me. No, my lord. Lying to your husband on his wedding night. That would be a bad way to start a marriage. That was already a little psycho. I know. We're man and wife now. We should be honest with each other. Don't you think? Take off your clothes. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh, creepy, bro. You stay Why? Here. You watch. What in the heck, dude? You're just putting everyone in their place. Do I need to ask a second time? I hate asking a second time. This music is making me so freaked out. Bro, we can skip this part. I told you to watch. You've known Sansa since she was a girl. Oh my gosh, that was... So is he worse than Joffrey or no? Ma yes. Yeah, he might... Well, I don't know. It's close. It's hard to tell. I really felt like he was about to do something about it. I didn't. He won't even... He can sit there and cut his fingers off. Give him an opportunity to leave with his own sister. He still won't leave. True. That is true. There ain't no helping him. So guys, that was Game of Thrones. That one was awfully awkward. Uh, that one was like... That one, yeah, that one was just kind of uncomfortable and awkward, bro. So basically, uh, Renzi's dad loves him a whole, whole lot, turns out. And, you know, that new baby doesn't... You know, you don't have to worry about it. It's all going to be okay. Renzi's just part of the family now. That's kind of crazy to me. That whole part of the storyline got me scared for that baby. Obviously, Sansa's being attacked by this crazy girl who's obsessed with Ramsay. You know what I'm saying? Like, this show's so good. There's so many highs on it that that part of the show doesn't really excite me that much. It almost seems like some teenage drama in a way. Personally, I mean, that's just my feeling on it. I don't really care about the love triangle. It is very interesting on the Littlefinger side of it, though. This man has just been playing the cards left right. and right this whole way. Uh, Littlefinger's slowly becoming like the heavyweight champion here, man. Yeah, like, he's so sneaky. He's so grimy, so he grosses me out just on a gut level. But man, he's such a good character, like so right. ratty. You got to have him. He's a good character. But the, the crazy thing this episode to me was I guess that Daenerys is going to marry someone, too. Yeah, like, that was kind of weird to me, too. She like, just threw that in there and just left. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This These episodes were a little awkward for me. Uh, they were different. I will say that. I will say they had a different pace to them, but maybe it's for a reason. We so. like the word pace, but I don't really know what we mean by pace. But mm -hmm. I feel like if you, if, you feel, if you feel what we're saying, you get what we're saying. But 
Daenerys just wanting to like I'm I'm sitting here the whole time wondering why does that guy get to keep popping up anyways? Like I get that he came to see Daenerys. But he's like early very on. defiant, yeah. He always yeah, has but, yeah, to say why does back. he yeah, why does he get to always just keep to come Because he's basically trying to hold the threat of like, yo, we're an important family and like if you keep ruining traditions out of our city, we're gonna overtake you if you don't like give us something or something like that. So he's kind of just being threatening. So now his reward for all that is to get to become the king through marriage? I, I don't Seems really a little know. Weird. Yeah, a part of me was thinking, like, there's got to be more to this story She's, here. Like, like, she a has a plan. Yeah, something. exactly. Yeah. So there's got to be something to that. I didn't really... I don't know, man. I don't really like that idea. I don't know who that dude is. So it just seems Well, his weird. name's, like, Lyndon... I don't know. I, don't remember. I mean, like, I know who he is, obviously. But I'm saying we only knew who... We only met him, like, five seconds ago. Like, you know. Right. Um, but Daenerys has also, like, promised... That, like, she was going to act like she was going to marry that one guy and tricked him up, too. And he's locked in a thing under that remember he's locked up yeah he locked that's, him up yeah that's forever right. with her that girl mm -hmm. crazy episode Tyrion seeing the dragon was just a shocking moment um it, it was really, actually a really good moment it put it into perspective that mm -hmm. Tyrion's a long way from home and back in king's landing there's a lot they just don't know right i feel like things would change a lot in king's landing if they would have like seen if y'all seen yeah. what i saw y'all would not be worried about that was that almost crab. like a monumental moment right yeah just like a, a wild eye moment I and guess. jorah has that stuff the grayscale the grayscale absolutely does and the issue with that is i think uh shireen said it took like a lot of maesters to come and she's not even sure how if if they fix it if they fix it or how they fix it so. right yeah and ultimately it never went away i mean it spread until they were able to fix it i don't know i really hope something doesn't happen to jorah i really do like his character he's one of those he grounds me like he's one of those grounding characters in the show like his drama is so little that you can always just come back to jorah and just yeah. have a chance to breathe and catch up and just yeah see what's going on. and he's such like a calm character right and he's uh, i don't know he's just a good character that sucks to hear about sell me though i honestly i really didn't believe that Grey Worm or Selmy were dead. So I, I really couldn't put it together, but I didn't get a chance to like be really upset for Selmy. That was a bummer. Yeah, and it really sucks how Grey Worm felt like he was so responsible for him. I mean, they were so outnumbered, dude, but it just goes to show you the mindset of one of these unsullied warriors. And, but I, you know, I think it's nice. I think it's nice that he can find a purpose and it's good to know that even though they were put through everything they were put through, he can still find a way to love again and maybe ultimately Kind of live a good life, maybe. Well, symbolically, that gives me hope for, like, Sansa and Arya and these characters mm -hmm. because they've been through so much, but hopefully they can just find some type of, like, normalcy again. Right, or peace, even. Yeah. But um, I guess the biggest thing to me in this episode was Sansa. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot Jamie and Bronn um, and the daughter are all captured. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of storylines going on. We almost dang near need to start, like, pausing before we react in our outros and get it all together because there's just so much going on we don't really love to do that because right. it's not as authentic right but you know if you guys are okay with us just bouncing all over the place and just thinking of what we can think because well, to be honest there's just a lot of stuff going on yeah a whole lot right and and then marjorie is now um in custody of those of that religious group that see that whole area just can't that whole thing with me dude like okay i get it so you should separate church and state like i understand that i mean ultimately everyone's political decision comes from something it comes from their inner conscience right and wherever you draw that from whatever you know that's that's between you right like i, I shouldn't have the right to tell you where your values should come from so wherever you get your values from or whatever it may be whether it's because your mama taught you or your religious whatever you go and you bring those to this to the to the square and you discuss your ideas and then you do your best to let religion be religion and you let governance be governance right we all like we all agree on that like our country's founded on that it doesn't mean anything's not inclusive it just means that it means what it means but this group just came out of nowhere and if they would have planted these seeds like early on then maybe like but it was but they made it like a point to say that if Taiwan Taiwan was around it wouldn't even be like a thing it just, yeah and it really just goes to show that there's just no you, you know like a thousand years worth of damage was done overnight in that place because but you know the corrosion like why is this society so corrosive why is it falling apart why is everyone losing respect for the crown why because is this they have group able to come king. in is it that simple yeah Just, I think is so. it as simple as I, a weak king i think like the th they've showed us like throughout the seasons like how just like bad off flea bottom is and the more and more you're bad off and you're like your city that's who like you need to be happy. But another thing, another reason that it's falling apart though is just the blatant hypocrisy of this place. Like yeah. you, like you can't, you can't have like a class of people that you're trying to rule and then give them nothing but lies and hypocrisy and then expect them not to like. 
I don't know, man. Maybe necessarily like I'm just saying, crazy things can happen in that vacuum of chaos. Like you, the state, aka King's Landing. I mean, they'll walk into a brothel and they'll slaughter babies, right? Right. So it's just like if some if if another group comes along and says, "Hey, you guys are right. You're not living right. You're morally crooked." Let us show you a better way. They don't really have too much of a leg to stand on because they they have nothing but a history of corruption. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the famous line goes, I learned a lot because I grew up in King's Landing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just very complicated. And it's and it's nice. Like, I like that it's in the show and all, but I just feel like it just happens so fast. Right, that, that, that did. That, it's the that first, happened overnight almost. It's yeah. really the first thing in the show that I've seen that I'm really just, like, really just taken aback by how, I don't know, man, just how, like, I didn't think that was very well written. That part, right? If that makes well, sense. Well, maybe it's just like the beginning parts of it. It just, it just was weird for them to take like the maester, and then to so quick take like a uh, not Lancel to take Loris, like just so quick to take him. Well, how does the I, I don't get the conversations between uh, what's this group called again? Uh, the High Sparrow, the High Sparrow, and the guards of King's Landing. How does that conversation go? Hey, we're the High Sparrow. You work for us now. All because Dorky Lancel decided so. Like, who cares? Right. I don't. I don't really know. Like, we're anyways, we're not gonna harp on it, guys. If right. you love this part of the story, you know, like, we got a long ways to watch, so we'll see. But this just came out of complete left field to me. It almost seems like they're just really trying to force it on there. Almost, it right. seems like I don't know. The writers just wanted to raise that issue for some reason, so they forced it. And I'm just telling you, like, I'm seeing it, man. And a lot of people hate the ending of the show. Like, you, you guys have been very vocal about that, and a lot of people love it. But this is really the first thing I've seen so far. Five seasons in where I'm just like, it's a little cringe, bro. But this was the first thing that I'm just like, eh. Like, yeah, that last scene we saw with Sansa and Ramsey, like, that was one of those things that you're just like, ah, uh, you don't really, like, when that, that's what I say when I mean cringe. I'm like, I'm like, I don't really want to see that. Well, but, that's what I mean by cringe, too. This yeah. show's got a lot of cringe, but that type of cringe isn't bad. And I don't hate that storyline at all. Like, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I just wish I didn't have to see it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I think that storyline's good, but it does. Because that freaking sucks for Sansa. She's just been through so dang much. The poor girl. It just seems like there's just so many important storylines that like, I don't know, it just seems like we shouldn't really be forcing any. We should be really trying to explore the ones that are good that exist. Right. You know, I don't well, know. Man. That has something bigger, obviously. Like yeah, that, for sure. Clearly, that's just a little something. But the thing about that little something is they started off into a big something. Well, yeah, there was not really like, a start. Like was capturing Loris is a, was a big deal. That's a big deal because Olena... They're like the runner-up house, so that's going to cause a lot of friction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not only that, they're capturing Marjorie as well, so. That just lost a lot of the realism for me, I guess. Oh, it did? Yeah, so because. the dragons in it? No, no, no. The, no the, well, that's just because that's the world we live in, but the world's, are, like, when we first dove in, it set the rules. You know, we live in a very, like, politically straightened, like, we live in a very politically simple universe, but at the same time, like, there happens to be some magic over here, and there's some dragons. So there's some soft magic to it. But. Politically, everything has to sort of make sense and fall in line. But that was the first part that I just didn't really get where that came from. That's all I'm right. saying, guys. That, that's all I'm saying. I don't know if you guys agree with me. You know, not but saying anything you, bad about the show. But if you want to like, think, if you want to be on like around that line, like then also like, why was Varys or why was Littlefinger or why were any of them even put on the council over multiple kings? You know what I'm saying? Like they don't, they wouldn't read. Well, the council. I think it's like a, it's a political and a money thing. I think a lot of it, like. Like, for example, Littlefinger weasels his way on the council because he's built an empire through brothels. So he right. owns, like, and in this society, like, the more brothels, the better. Because it's kind of, like, gross in that way. So, right. in a sense, not only does he, su he supplies, like, what the people want. Mm. And so, in a sense, he's, like, ultra powerful. So, you know, I don't know. And maybe, like, people like Cersei understand that and recognize that. You know, and so maybe that's why they keep those people close. Like, keep your enemies closer type things. Because Cersei right. recognizes the power that a little finger has. And I, what, I, what I was basically, the point I was making with that is maybe that's why Cersei, like, has this guy. Because she's trying to do something with him. The High Sparrow? Yeah. Well, obviously. She has an agenda of her own. We just don't know it yet. Well, obviously, Cersei's in a place of, she feels like she's losing her power. Right. Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. So maybe she's just thinking, like. Sometimes, like, instead of having a plan, like, if things aren't going my way, I don't have a plan. So maybe I should just, like, right. she grab a have plane her dad. and burn the house down. You know she doesn't I mean? have her dad. She doesn't have Jamie to fall behind. Yeah, she's by herself. So she chooses, like, a strong. This like, is her way to just reshuffle right. the deck. Make, maybe she, out of this chaos, she can rise out of it. Because, yeah. like, to Cersei, like, she seems like she would destroy her own house before she would continue to live in the shadows of Marjorie. Like, that right. just doesn't seem like that's going to hold forever. And she had that witch thing that said another queen was going to take it over. So that's probably like playing in her head over and over. 
So, of course, you're going to try to do what you can to make the queen, like, look worse. Yeah. And it is weird. Like, it is weird. It's like, dude, when you're supposed to marry... I don't, I don't, we ain't ready for all that conversation. But anyways, guys, yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon. This is still the greatest show of all time. Like I said, uh, well, that part was just a little weird, but that's really all it is. I, I still think this show is just leaning towards something amazing happening. I think, I, I think we just need to trust the show because people say it's the greatest show of all time and like that, ha there's a reason for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, but this is about the time a lot of people are saying that it starts to fall off too, so. I mean, we can't, at the end of the day, we can't pretend that we live under a rock and we don't know that. I mean, you know, like, we definitely don't. Like, we hear you guys' comments. Still the best show I've ever seen to this date. Me too. 100%. One more thing I did want to mention, which I just thought was awesome, because you guys know how much I just love Stannis. Stannis gave John the boats. That's oh, huge. Yeah. I think that John, John has a soft spot for the Wildlings, man, as he should, because it's pretty apparent. The Thins are a whole different story, but it's pretty apparent. Yeah, the the Wildlings are just people um, too, man. Like, they were born on their own side of the wall. And at the end of the day, like, all these houses and everything, they all need to sort of get it together because right. the ultimate enemy is. And so John seems to be the only one to really fully understand that. Right. Like, because he knows he has to get the wildlings south of the wall so they can save them from winter. So John only understands that and everyone else kind of is just still playing the Game of Thrones. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people are being emotional about the wildlings. A lot of people are just saying like, oh, well, they killed my family or they did this or they did that. But. John said the only fact that matters is they're going to become a whole nother army of the yes. dead. And, and when yeah. you add that army to the already coming army, you're just going to be screwed. So all right, they'd figure something out. That's what I'm saying, man. Uh, definitely the hand. Oh, dude. And one other thing I wanted to say is when the that guy, one of the masters was in the dungeon with the dragons, mm -hmm. like that shot, the way they had it, the dragons yeah. come out of the shadow. That was nice. That, that might be like the coolest shot of the show I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, man. There's been about 10 that are just mind-blowing. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We're about to knock out some more, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>